Hello everyone. I hope you all are good. In this video we are going to learn about Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus or the Golgi body or Golgi complex or simply Golgi is a cellular organelle present in most of the cells of the eukaryotic organisms. It is referred to as the manufacturing and the shipping center of the cell. Golgi is involved in the packaging of the protein molecules before they are sent to their destination. These organelles help in processing and packaging the macromolecules like proteins and lipids that are synthesized by the cell and hence act as the post office of the cell. Golgi apparatus was discovered in the year 1898 by an Italian biologist Camillo Golgi. Structure of Golgi apparatus Under the electron microscope, the Golgi apparatus is seen to be composed of stacks of flattened structures that contain numerous vesicles containing secretory granules. The Golgi apparatus is morphologically very similar in both plant and animal cells. However, it is extremely pleomorphic, in some cell types it appears compact and limited, in others spread out and reticular net-like. Typically, however, Golgi apparatus appears as a complex array of interconnecting tubules, vesicles, and cystinae. Cystinae. It is the simplest unit of the Golgi apparatus is the cystina. Cystinae about 1 micrometer in diameter are central, flattened, plate-like or saucer-like closed compartments that are held in parallel bundles or stacks one above the other. In each stack, cystinae are separated by a space of 20 to 30 nanometers which may contain rod-like elements or fibers. Each stack of cystinae forms a dichiosome which may contain 5 to 6 Golgi cystinae in animal cells or 20 or more cystinae in plant cells. Tubules A complex array of associated vesicles and anastomosing tubules 30 to 50 nanometers diameter surround the dichiosome and radiate from it. In fact, the peripheral area of the dichiosome is fenestrated, lace-like, in structure. Vesicles. The vesicles, 60 nanometers in diameter, are of three types. I. Transitional vesicles are small membrane-limited vesicles which are thought to form as blebs from the transitional ER to migrate and converge to cis face of Golgi, where they coalesce to form new cystinae. Secretory vesicles are varied sized membrane limited vesicles that discharge from margins of cystinae of Golgi. They, often, occur between the maturing face of Golgi and the plasma membrane. Clathrin coated vesicles are spherical protuberances, about 50 micrometers in diameter and with a rough surface. They are found at the periphery of the organelle usually at the ends of single tubules, and are morphologically quite distinct from the secretory vesicles. The clathrin-coated vesicles are known to play a role in intracellular traffic of membranes and of secretory products, that ISC between ER and Golgi, as well as between the GELR region and the endosomal and lysosomal compartments. 1. Golgi vesicles are often referred to as the traffic police of the cell. They play a key role in sorting many of the cell's proteins and membrane constituents and in directing them to their proper destinations. To perform this function, the Golgi vesicles contain different sets of enzymes in different types of vesicles, cis, middle and trans cystinae 
that react with and modify secretory proteins passing through the Golgi lumen or membrane proteins and glycoproteins that are transiently in the Golgi membranes as they are en route to their final destination. It is also involved in the formation of certain cellular organelles such as plasma membrane, lysosomes, acrosome of spermatozoa and cortical granules of a variety of oocytes. They are also involved in the transport of lipid molecules around the cell. The Golgi complex also plays an important role in the production of proteoglycans. The proteoglycans are molecules that are present in the extracellular matrix of the animal cells. Now, look this is how Golgi apparatus looks under microscope. So, thanks for watching and yes, don't forget to subscribe, and keep learning.